Hey guys, yeah, it's Saturday night and I'm in my pyjamas, as I always seem to be when I'm doing a video. Um, I'm on my own tonight, Tilly's at her nanny's and Lily and Jack are with their mum. So I thought that I would do a quick video to show you um, my bears that I collect. Um, I am a big kid at heart because I absolutely love my bears um, so I thought I'd show you them. I showed you in my last, uh, in the Christmas video, what I got, which bear I got for Christmas. So I've been collecting these bears, they're called Charlie bears and they're not cheap but they're not massively expensive and I absolutely love them um, but they only seem to sell them in places like um, I call them seaside towns because we're not a seaside town. Places like Devon, Cornwall, Somerset. Um, you can buy them online, Amazon and places like that. But I always feel like when I am away that I need to get a bear. The first bear I got, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> the first bear I got was I was in York. Um lovely place in York and it was like a cobbled back streets and um, it was just this little shop and inside I went inside and I absolutely fell in love with this particular bear and this was about I think it was about six five years ago maybe yeah maybe five six years ago so the first bear I got was Sean <laughs> funny enough this is Sean and he's a panda bear he is absolutely beautiful um, he's a big bear not the biggest one I've got but if you ever go to a Charlie Bear sh Stife shop depends if they sell them both but normally they do you'll usually come across a massive one. So that's Sean. That was my first bear. My second bear was... Um, Noodle. Noodle is a gem. He's absolutely beautiful. And all the... They're not all the same, but I absolutely love the jointed Charlie Bears. I love them to be jointed. But that's Noodle. He's lovely. I, I love all my bears. I always say that my bears pick me. Um, they have to pick me or I don't bring them home. Uh, the next one... He's a 2014 bear. He's not as big as the last two, but his name's Charlie. Um, and he's also jointed. And you'll find the style, a lot of these are panda bears, that my favourite style ones. But yeah, this is that's Charlie. And then I got brought this one. Christmas from my ex-mother-in-law and his name is Mucky Pup and he's he's a little little spotty jointed bear but he's lovely um, and then I got this one this was from a shop in Devon Romy she's got a little bell on her I think most of my ones have got bells on them um, and they also all come with a canvas bag if you buy them from the shop but when I buy them if I, if I'm looking at listings on eBay sorry I've got fluff in my eye if you're looking at listings from eBay I always make sure that they're clean sort of unused bears but they come with a canvas bag but she's lovely I love the expressions on their faces. I call them my babies. But some of them look so sweet and innocent. <laughs> this 
this is one of my big boys. I call him my big boys. My one of my big boys is this is Declan. Declan's massive. He also comes with a bell. And he's also jointed. There you go. But he's he's a big boy. <laughs> and my partner bought me this one. He's absolutely beautiful. This is Ridley. Now Ridley I said I wanted Ridley for ages because Ridley reminds me of a bear that I had when I was little, which I've still got, but he's with my daughter, at my daughter, on my daughter's shelf, and I don't like to take him down. Um, you could possibly see him in the background on the shelf, the little brown one next to the dream catcher. But yeah, he, I had him growing up, and he, he, his name was Russ. So really just reminds me of Russ. Um, he's also jointed and he's lovely. And then for Christmas, this this was a joke with my mum. We I saw this bear on Amazon and I wanted him for ages. And I asked my mum for him and he was quite expensive. He was I think he was over seventy pound, and um, his name was Tawny, or is Tawny. And the joke is, he's tiny. He's from the is it the Minimo, Minimo collection. But when I saw him, I didn't check out his size, and I didn't realise he was so small. Obviously, small things can still be loved, as much as big things. And I love him just the same as the rest of them. But it was funny because I didn't realise how small he was. So when I took him out the bag, me and my mum just sat there and laughed at Christmas. This was Christmas, not last Christmas, Christmas before. But yeah, he's lovely. He's really fluffy and he's got a key. And on him, he is limited to 12,000 pieces and he's number 35. Um... Now this one is, I don't have favourites because they're all my favourite. But this one is definitely um, a winner. Well, I'll show you. This is Hensley. He's another big, big bear. Now I went to Somerset with my partner. Well, we went to Devon and on the way home I wanted to drive through Somerset, which is a little place called Cheddar, Cheddar Gorge. Now it's lovely over there. And I drove past the Charlie Bear shop and we stopped off and parked up and got a Costa. And we went down to the Charlie Bear shop. And then I looked around in this Charlie Bear shop and he was on a chair and he was looking at me and I really wanted him. But I looked at his price and he was like £80. So even though he caught my eye, I thought, no, I can't spend that much you know, we'd just finished a holiday, and then I said, I turned around, and there was this purple bear, I couldn't even remember the purple bear's name, but I purchased him, and she put him in his bag, and I walked off to Costa, um, back up towards Costa, and I kept looking at this bear that I'd bought, and I wasn't happy with him, I knew we wasn't meant to be, he wasn't meant to come home with me, for some reason, so I went back down to the shop and I said, this bear is not meant to be my bear. And I pointed at Hemsley and I said, he's meant to be my bear and I, and I took him home. So he's been home with me, that was two years ago now. So I hadn't had a bear for two years, sorry, yeah. Or was it eight? It was two years and I was, I've been thinking about buying a new one for ages, but obviously I couldn't top him. He's a big, big bear. And then, funnily enough, I went to 
a wedding in Devon. And on the way home, we drove again through Somerset, Cheddar Gorge, to show my mum. And in the window, as we drove past, was him. Him is Bampa. Now, I liked Bampa because he looked like a lion. And he, I thought he was really cool. I showed you him at Christmas. But I kept saying to my mum, I really like that bear. And I tried for ages to find out what his name was. And I found it. And I show, showed my mum. And Christmas Day this year, I opened the box and it had Bamper in it. And now I've been looking today because I'm part of a Facebook group. And there's so many beautiful bears. Someone's got a collection of 500. I've got 10. <laughs> 10 year, 10 bears over six years. Not doing too bad. But because they're so expensive, I can't bring myself to buy one a month or something like that. My daughter's also got one. I got her one for her birthday. I'll show you. This is my daughter's one. She looks after him. His name's Scoop. Scoop is part of a collection. Um, now, so on the tags or when you purchase these bears, they're all designed and made by diff not always different people it's normally Isabella Lee I think this one's made by Heather Lyle but he was part of a set so when I picked him from the shop um, it was part of the sweetie collection so there was others but if you definitely want to buy a gift for somebody then these are lovely gifts because they come in all different. There's, there's mice, there's badgers. There's so many different styles. You don't just have to have bears. Um, and there's also the mohair bears, but they're really pricey. Um, so if you know anyone that likes collecting stifes, um, definitely tell them about the Charlie bears because they've been around a long time, but they're lovely. This one's also jointed. Anyway, I am going to go back downstairs and watch some TV. So, see you later.